Good luck on your errands. Why that not pop up? There you go. That's All right. Well, that was really loud. Oh, I was going to make that full screen, wasn't it? Uh, I... Please tell me I bookmarked this. I thought I did. Oh, hang on a second. Maybe. There. Hello there. Here. I apprehend just. Oh, filter. Okay, let's see if it works. Hello. Looks like the store is just. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay, I think I've made it so it'll go anywhere on the screen. Okay. Just for, to, for a change, today's really hot and we're playing Binge of the Story. No, it's been a while since that happened. Didn't get a chance to get in the pool today because the neighbours decided, well, the neighbours didn't. Their lawns were getting mowed. And with the lack of back fence, I didn't really feel like getting in the pool with random 
dude mowing the lawn next door. Mm. Oh, hey, it's doing the thing. It, it's you. I mean, Adele's pretty cool too. I mean, almost as cool. All right, so, hang on, let me just... Uh, oh. I know I can restart the server. <clears throat> I'm just curious to see what this is doing. Okay. If I shut the server, crash the server. Fine. I'm really good at that. So where's, where's it gonna be this time? I thought I... Really? Just... Fine. Alright, well, at least it takes... Hey, that hasn't refreshed. <laughs> Alright, I'll wait, I wait till you guys land and then I'll refresh the cage. I was trying to make it so it goes over the full screen. Okay. Where the heck did that? Well, where's the leaf file? What have I done? Oh. It's it's fine. It. I totally know what I'm doing. <laughs> no more leaves, no safe landing, everyone just plummets to their death. I think.
Let me play. <sighs> just, just do. So apparently Drax was playing, playing that Star Trek game yesterday. All right, we're, we are in the South. It's dark. That's that's kind of not helpful. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, my food's rushing. Oh boy. Oh, I see. Oh, hey. Oh. Uh, yeah, you do. A hundred percent. Most definitely. Well, I mean, okay, so I'm a bit biased, but... Uh, it's just a little game that I have. A little streamy game thing. It doesn't doesn't do anything, it's just just a little thing. And how are you doing, lovely? Where am I going? I'm lost that way. Getting things worked out at the new job, nice. So you, you've land seen it seems like you're landing on your feet. I love those little um box cartoons that you share. Talking about you and the wife, they're very cute. You deserve good things. Well, ah. The 
have a bunch of shit on me that I don't need. Are you... You're still there? Okay, they're still there. Cows are still there. We're, we're living in a cave. It's very fancy. What the heck? <laughs> so apparently Toast has visited my place. And left... Left sweet treats... In my pantry. I've been toasted. I have been toasted. <laughs> Toast is very sneaky like that. Oh. Meanwhile, my inventory is over full. Well, I do still have some food. Wait, where did they go? Oh, okay. And some flax oil? Toast is there's more in there. Toast is very sneaky. Made with olive oil, blackcurrant syrup, syrup, peanut kernels, peanut paste, honey and salt. I know they was they they were still on when I logged out last night, so Play stone. Can, oh, can I use this? Man, those doors are just rubbish. Like, they're really pretty, but they don't count as doors because there's holes in them. I think I'm gonna use it anyway. I don't need to worry about the room bonus. As long as the interior wall walls are walls are okay. Alright. These need to get put on the shelf.
Hey, what does this do? It teaches me how to make broken things. That seems useful. Oh no, I love that. But I downloaded a mod that lets me put like random shit on uh, bookshelves. And I kind of love it. I need to make another torch actually. Uh, just, I just wanted the one. It's gonna we're gonna use that at the other end of the translocator. But it's one o'clock in the morning. This, this weather right now is just bullshit. So unimpressed with the heat. Ooh, my trees are getting taller. Alright, so we're getting better with the resin. This music is too loud for me. Hopefully it's okay for stream. Meb, I, I always enjoy when you can visit, but I, I know time zones and you know, work are like that. So, so don't stress too much. I mean, I know you're not stressing about it, but yeah, it's okay.
I feel like if I made an effort... Well, I just have to explore more stuff, I think. What I, I need to do. More exploring. But I should get better equipment. I take those. But 3.2 liters of resin. So that's a good amount. Still gonna keep a stack of clay with me. And you know what? I'm gonna take my rusty ears too. I should probably um take all that food off the shelf and storage. so much I mean, that's, that's a lot. All right, let's store. Fantastically nutty dessert. I'm gonna store some of that. I really like that blue. There's like so many things I could be working on right now. To like make things sort of pan out better here, but honestly, I just want to. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got. Well, it's not rosy this time. Ferdinand and. Ferdinand's new girlfriend. Really wish you could name them. I think that would be a man. I just realized my shovel's almost out of bump. probably make sure I have one of these. The 
just in case. What sort of trade are they? Agriculture. Like, it's hard. This is hard. I have iron bloom. So I could make iron tools. To the south. Oh, <sighs> south seems like a good direction to run. Wait, have I got any points to spend? I have one point in survival. I forgot I had this. Mining. I just like, I never know where to put those points. Quality, the base value of one and it makes more five quality. Pottery, correct. Three more voxels for each clay. Oh. I had wrong voxels. Crabs are so cute. Oh, I see a tree. I absolutely love these orange mellow flowers. Sunflower. Eh. I think it's going to be an olive tree. All oh, right, and then we've got to look at the peanuts as well. It's a pomegranate. I 
I deliberately, you know what, I'm gonna go back. Bought the torch and a torch holder to help mark the entry. Yeah. Tunnel. Oh, that was a very dark shadow. Thanks, ma'am. I appreciate the learn. Appreciate the work works lots. It's like, where is it? Around here? Wait. Here, is that it? That's it. There. Then I'm going to block off the other. Re really? <laughs> what? Fuck's sake. Good effort. Walk. I, I tried to squeeze in as many pride flags as I could fit into the emote slots. I mean, hi Calico. <laughs> I like I know there were like a bunch more that I could have fit into that one. But I ran out of frames. Yeah, there's a. I've had them for a while now. There was a streamer who shared them on their Google Drive um, for anyone to use. And I just, I love them. They're so vibrant and colorful. And no, I just think they're perfect. Oh, shit. Look at all this porous. Holy crap. Also, I have Flint has been doing a very good job of acknowledging Pride stuff this month. It's very cute. He's like, he, he keeps sending me like cute Pride jokes and Pride memes and stuff. It's. I still think that is like one of the best. I love that. God, I'm so fucking lost already. Distract me with, you know what? There's worse things to be distracted by. It's like a fucking Isha. It's an Isha artwork. 
But no, I don't know. I just think it's really sweet that he's like really trying to engage and and acknowledge and I mean that that is possible. He is a good being. He's <laughs> I feel I feel like at some point he's gonna be like just assume that I want all of the gay things. But yeah, this is this is the Yes, please. This is the first year where I feel like he's... I don't know. I don't want to say acknowledged, but... It's interesting. I am so fucking lost. It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm not lost. I'm unlost now. Yeah, like he's like last year. Uh, like this is the first year where he's like made an effort to like send me cute like you'll find like little gay memes and it's just really funny because we were talking a while ago because i was talking about how we have um a lot of of lgbt people in the community here and he's like, well, yeah, because you use the tag. And I'm like, I've, I've never used the tag. It's just that like follows like, I guess. I was always too scared to use the uh, tags and deal with the bullshit that goes with it. Uh, LGBT people. Yeah, he's like, well, yeah, because you you use the tag, and I was like, I've I've never once used the LGBT tag on my stream. It's just that there's a lot of gay people out there, and there's a lot of gay people over here. I think, I think, yeah, we just have good people in here. We have good beings. <laughs> I don't know if you saw Flynn's, Flynn's joke that he put in chat earlier, Ali. I've... Oh, oh yeah. Um, this, this cave system is a lot. I don't know, it's like good effort. I was saying he's like this year he's really made an effort to like find cute gay things to share them with me. Okay, Mib. Like uh, he sent me this yesterday. Uh, it's And do the the little meme he sent me yesterday. Oh, it's uh hang on. Oh, that's an old picture. I don't want that there. 
Oh god. Yeah, he sent me this yesterday. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> He's, he's really trying. <laughs> you know, I do. I, I do love guac, but I feel like it doesn't really add a lot of flavor to something. Texture, yes, but I don't feel like it adds much to flavor. But yeah, I, I'm a big fan of adding. Yeah, Flint's mum um, is allergic to, to avocados as well. She gets really bad hives. So we we don't do that. <laughs> he doesn't really care for, for it really, but I enjoy it. Okay, so we've done there. Now, so I moved Discord to a different monitor and it's very confusing. Poor Ali. But yeah, I moved my dis moved Discord onto one of my other monitors, and it's it's very confusing. I swear I'm doing this for a reason. Oh, before I go further into like down into the cave, I just want to make sure I'm not going to miss any. Okay, not out. Oh, that's a lot of saltpeter. I'm getting back up there in a hurry. But I have clay. So I can make cobblestone if I need to. There's a lot of saltpeter. more 
that basalt? That is basalt. Where are we at? 12. All right. So that's almost a ground, ground uh, bedrock. Oh, here we go. Rusty go. Right, it's so good. Brickley. Thank you. Yes, I do need to do the eats. Hot. It is heck and hot again today. How about you? Oh, I think that's it. Yeah. It's, uh, what is it, 102 now? Which is just completely unnecessary. Now, you're exhausted. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do what you need to do, and we'll just be here doing our thing. But don't you worry. Hey. Sake. Why am I doing this the hard way? Please don't now. I mean, I don't mean to. Wait, wait. Okay, please.
right. So that was that was down there. That was a thing. What are you doing in here? I thought I was doing so well, and now I'm... No, no, I'm good. Oh man, that is so pretty. Lots of cold, yeah. There's an insane amount of borax there as well. Just like a massive horizontal layer of it. So much borax. I went through one of the translocators at my place. And so now we just, uh, I should have, oh, I did kind of mark it. How you doing today, Baron? Oh, we have Ed studying, surely. I don't even know where that cave entrance was. That's well done. Oh, here. It's like right here. Look at this. I was like, oh yeah. Oh, that's some borax. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. O okay. And I think there was more further in too. Well, I appreciate your snack look. I had lunch, but I'm also feeling peckish. Yes. Once the ads start, I'm going to set up. <gasps> I'm going to grab a tub of yogurt and move. So going out there means going out there. don't like going out into the kitchen anymore. I'm on Twitch. Okay, well, apparently I have an ad, uh, a delivery on the front doorstep, so I'm going to go take my ad break. Uh, you guys should get snacks and drinks too, and I will see you in a few minutes. Enjoy the cave.
It's new insect repellent. It's not new. Apparently this has been around since the 80s, but isn't commonly used. And the active ingredient is picaridin? Yeah. Um, and apparently it's more effective than DEET. Doesn't leave a residue, doesn't stink, um, and is less harmful. So I got some to try because I'm getting tired of being eaten alive. But, I mean, I sprayed some on the palm of my hand and I, I can't smell anything, so... We'll see, I guess. I was curious first if I was going to have a reaction to it. Um, all right, the sun's going to start coming up soon. I know I have a mosquito in my room here. Oh, excuse me. They're not a more interesting symbol for reason than a dot. I feel like that would be better. Fruit trees are fruit trees. Hmm. All right, come on, daylight. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling the heat so much more than I was last year. What I have come to conclusion is that I, I need to get a mirror in my room. For a tree over there. Um, because the bathroom is too fucking hot. Like I, the reason my hair is just up in a poo bun again is... Uh, I was trying to do my hair and I was sweating so much <laughs> in the bathroom that my hair was sticking to my hands and I gave up and just wanted it off the back of my neck. Oh my granite. Can you not separate the fruit trees? No, you can't. Shame. But also, I kind of understand why. I think that there is the itch. Maybe.
the sunlight is unnecessarily bright. Oh look, a chalk bar I'm at the southern edge of the world. That's a very me kind of thing. Hi, Tars. Hello. I was like, I opened my pantry and I'm like, what the Tars? Ali's like, you've been toasted. But yeah, yeah, I have. Thank you. Yep, there's the southern edge. Alright. So I've hit west and I've hit south. <sighs> now I'm wondering if I made the world too small. I popped a, a, a torch at the top of the ladder shaft that you do. So it should be easier to find at night time. And then there was a cave that was like super chock full of boring. That was uh Oh, okay. I I don't know. I found a, a cave with a bunch of borax in it, but that was that was it so far. interesting the contrast between the chalk and the box site is quite I kind of like it
A good well that that way that that's good. That is good. I'm a fan of good things. I didn't do as I was told. I was not. I was supposed to not do owls. I don't know, I just kind of decided to head to the southern edge of the map and wonder about a bit. Oh. But I was scurrying around at night time. there Nashville a hot chicken pizza that sounds like a lot of stuff going on A lot of goodness. Perfect. Jesus. Oh. Hmm. What did I had sushi and crab rangoons and dumplings. Oh, has it? Guess I need to update the uh, server then. I need to do the egg slip one as well, right? Even an adult slushy. Yum. Oh, I was doing so well, and now I'm tired. Oh. I'll take that. Wait. I did that last time too.
Well, I found, I found another translocator. Burned our torch, that's very helpful. Well, I don't have any, uh, 60. Fuck, that's a long way out. That was a long way up from the long way down. Why did I not bring ladders? I think I need to go get a bunch of sticks. Ooh, material change. I feel like chalk rock should be easier to break through.
this one I wonder is probably just fast for me to run back up home, right? hungry again? Do you need another LGBTQ with letters? Alright, gonna check out that ruin over here and then go home and get some letters. Yeah. Oh, you could. There you go. Or oh, both. I haven't had a BLT in forever. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like they're overrated. Yeah. It was because of this. Flint, Flint sent me that picture and I was just like, yeah. Yeah, fresh, like, still, still crisp tomatoes that are, like, juicy, not soggy. I love fresh tomatoes. I will eat them like an apple. Or... I'll just have like sliced sliced tomatoes on toast with a bit of mayo and black pepper. So good. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, Flint always pulls a face when I do that. He's uh he does not like whole tomatoes. And I'm like, that's fine. I'll eat all my candy. <gasps> Did you remember the recipe? I had like it's sushi and and dumplings and crab rangoons for for lunch, but uh, now I'm kind of hungry again.
kind of really just want a bag of chips. Like, just like, really just crunch. I want some crunch. Here. That is not a good dinner. I would get told off if I said that's what I did. That's fair. No. I, s I swear half the reason I'm still like somewhat upright is because of stream fussing at me to eat and drink and take my vitamins. Ow. <sighs> and get up and stretch and... This is a reminder for you to drink some water, eat some food, take yeah. your meds, and be kind to yourself. Yes, even you. Give yourself a break. You deserve it. Good job, Beard. Me too. Fucking hot today, so I have been chugging a lot of water. I saw that. <sighs> yeah, I think I saw it on the list of ones that uh, Molly was looking at, I think. They've got... <sighs> I have access to Aska already, but so like you can play the demo now. Oh, excuse me. Um, but if you there's also like a, a like a more complete version for after that. And I've got a couple of other indie games to play, so... I'm definitely intrigued in that one. Well, it's nice that the translocator is that close.
Yeah, I feel like my energy is just completely falling off. Oh, another cup of spear. Why do I... Alright, we're just gonna go... Oh! Out to the middle of the lake and toss a bunch of stuff. Five days. Yeah, it's just, it's so warm. It's just really just like drained the energy out of me. Damn. Why? Thank you, Frick. I haven't, like, I've not had coffee. I haven't made coffee today because it was just like, I don't want to drink a hot drink. I broke my rules and I've got ice in my water today. I don't normally bother with. I usually just have like, my, my water is like cool room temperature and then I can chug it without uh, you know, being uncomfy. I don't, I don't know why I've got these. Hmm. Is that it? 36. Delicious. Oh. <sighs> okay, you could probably do with some more dirt. And also... I 
I'm just just throwing household waste into the trash can uh, into the ocean like it's fine it, it's totally fine hello cows All right, I definitely need more dirt. Okay, that'll help. All right, what else do I want? So I was trying to think of something interesting to try and make crochet wise that I can do outside and Flynn was laughing and was like you need to like go into like a you pull it and just steal the hoses from everyone's uh windshield washers and then you know like cro do a crochet with with all the rubber tubing and I was like joking around I was looking at the price on that and I was like wait I could crochet nylon cores or parachute cores so like making like a mat to step onto when you get out of the pool that would be really sturdy and uh you know could withstand the heat and rain and water and shit it's like how awful would that be to work with though? There's a sink right there. We started watching um, Discovery last night, Star Trek Discovery. And I was like instantly taken by the first episode. Especially when I realized like where it fit in the timeline that made me more interested. Um, but I fell asleep in the second episode just because I've been so tired lately so that was frustrating
Okay, well, last time we wandered south. Let's... Do a nosy east. Well, I can see a churchy thing over there. Right across the street here, though. Um, where is it? Lots more coal. Really, this is this is where they come if you want brown coal. I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, look at that goat. With the stripy feet. If I come up here, I have a bit of view of the lay of the land. Hmm, well, that's a lot of quartz and uh, copper. You know what I love about climbing high places in the desert? When sandstorms happen and they reduce your visibility, like my actual favorite. What are those? Silver torch cactus. Okay, I guess it's just like a flower. Ouch. I'm like, here is pulling on my scalp. Owie.
pretty. Trees up there. some weird rubber banding oh, it's still pulling on my scalp this why why oh how about I use my hand club instead Freaking hyena puppies. Flint over there. Ow. More flint than you can shake a stick at. Okay. Interesting. On here. All right, so there's a lot of stuff there. Get here. I was so excited when I saw the cassava plants. I like they're so pretty, but and I'm not that excited. Oh, there's so many caves right here.
a lot of stuff here. I'm assuming it's all one cave system. So keep seeing those some of those termite mounds and they just make me think of uh watering can Ads are calling. Ads are about to start. I'm going to take the machines and up. I'm going to go make some coffee. And hopefully it'll trick my brain or something. Um, I think, I think we'll be good here. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes.
had to go make coffee. Thank you for the raid and welcome in. Hello, Ape. Hi, Drax. Uh, AFK raid. Yes. Hello. Hi. I I went to go put coffee on and get a little yogurt finger. I had to do a moving of legs because I'm like so groggy. Boop. Boop. My coffee is brewing right now. Right now. And we're just doing an explore in the south. How was your stream? What'd you do? How many times did you die? Uh, welcome everyone who came over with Rex. If you're still here. Thanks. Um, hello, I'm Dal Deliria. My pronouns are she, her, and I have strawberry cheesecake yogurt. You worked on the new kitchen. Ew. Fancy. I have many projects that I feel like I ought to be working on in here. Including just planting the dang flax. Uh, but I haven't done any of that. And so... do the things I want to do. I need the windmill. I need to set up a hell of hammer. And instead, I'm exploring. Because why would I do something sensible? And prepare for things ahead of time. So I found a cool cave that has lots of war action. Just doing like a little bit of an explore around this translocator that brought me like or open up really south very south and then i found another one that's even souther -er. it's just really yummy but it's crunchy and i'm really worried that the crunch is coming through on the mic I'm pretty sure it's not but hmm There's not much self beyond them. It's just because I'm wearing the earbuds. Um. So yeah, just doing a little one around here. And maybe I'll find some stuff. Or, you know, maybe I'll die. Whatever. This is really yummy though. And also I'm looking for peanuts. But this is the wrong biome, but it's fine. Oh, I see a tree. I found lots of borax. That was pretty exciting.
sort of just like working in a circle around here. I feel like I'm missing stuff though. I was uh, I was trying to skip coffee today because it you know been hot. But apparently I miss it. Hello, are you a cave? You're, ooh, you're a fake cave. Rude. Oh, real cave? Oh! Mm. Oh, mate. Mm -hmm. okay. I love that when you like look up and you see the stars through the cave entrance. <sighs> was there another? No, oh, there was. This would be a lot more efficient if I could see. Or something. It really is. I'm like, I was in the store today trying to find things. Flint was in the van waiting. And I was trying to. I don't that don't eat that one, Drax. This funeral bell. Don't eat that one. I was trying to eat uh eat. I was trying to read the aisle descriptions and I was like uh, yeah, yes. All mushrooms are delicious. Just have to add Oh. Uh, garlic butter. Garlic butter makes everything better. I was like, I'm looking at the time. I was like, is it late enough if I go to bed now? Quickly, is it yes? Garlic butter and mushrooms. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Wait, a garlic bread day? It's it's well past the time where I go and get my eyes tested again. But I hate eye tests because I can't pass them. Other than what well, years you've got eyeballs, good job. But that you can't like research and study up on them. Rubbish. Hmm. Well, I hope he has a nice time, Prickly. Oh, 
well phrased a different way you pass a test and then you have to pay more money hmm Like, I know I need more glasses. Like, that's a no-brainer. But I also know that the cheapest my glasses are going to be will be around $90 to $100 plus. And that's not fun. Because that's a lot of candy I could have otherwise. Because I'm an adult. Or like beer. Like how much could I get for beer? But you get away from this. Well, I mean if that I mean that is pretty clearly an invitation. Oh. You always pull back. I actually don't mind this stuff. Especially after getting eye surgery a couple of years ago. Now it kind of inured to it. But. Then just like trying to pick the frames. Though to be fair, the last few times I've picked glasses, I've just got them from Zenny. So I can just like bookmark the frames that I want and just get the same one every time. Okay, I don't know why I thought a yogurt would help. Ow! I didn't mean to do that. It didn't fall. All right. I'm so glad I have cryptids turned off because, uh, I titanium. I don't think I've ever seen titanium in the wild before. I usually find that they're really expensive, but um, the store had them on sale. So I grabbed a bunch of different ones. Oh. Uh... Can I mark that? I... Titanium...
Oh, no, I was saying, I, I enjoy it, but I, I don't tend to buy them very often. I got them on sale, but... I, I tend to forget about them in the fridge, and then they go off. Oh yeah, I love makes it with granola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I used to to commute to work when I was in London, um, I had a really long train ride. It would, it was like a two and a half hour commute. Um, each way, it was ridiculous. I don't know why I did it. So I, I would basically have breakfast and wake up on the train. And uh, there was a like a Tesco's in the, the train station, like a grocery store, basically. And they had really yummy, like quite large bowls of, of granola and yogurt that you could get and that was really fucking good and I think that was like the only reason I would actually get through the days is because I'd have that really like high energy start Yeah, it wasn't, it was not healthy. I was, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the long days and the longer commute uh, had a very active part to play in my mental health collapsing. I have no doubt about that whatsoever. Very kindly, my bosses were like, well, I mean, you can stay on site, but you're going to have to, like, share accommodation with a bunch of electrician apprentices. And I'm like, I, I know what these guys are like. No. <laughs> it, and no desire to stay with a bunch of young electricians. So they were they were lovely guys, but they were young and enthusiastic sports lads that, you know this just too much to live with. Like I, I didn't I never felt worried or concerned for my, my safety with them. They were good lads, but mm-mm. I didn't mind having a having a few pints with them at the pub, but that was very different to uh, sharing accommodations with them. What is, what is going on here? Yeah, yeah, very, very much like physically and, and emotionally exhausting. Now. I mean, they always did their utmost to like care for everyone. Like they really cared for the girls who worked in the office. And they took, like, you know, they were all gentlemen. They said they were good lads. But never in my life have I ever wanted to live with a group of 20-something-year-old men. 
Even when I was 20 something, I hit no. <laughs> No thanks. <laughs> I was like, yeah, nah, nah, I'm good. To be fair, I had no desire to live with a bunch of 20 something year old females either. Like the girls from the office were something else. But yeah, I lived by myself, so it was like, well, long commute it is. So it was like a bus and then a train and then a walk from the train when I arrived in Surrey. I worked in this place called Leatherhead. The, this, the suburb was called Leatherhead. Um, and it was a beautiful train trip and I, I read a lot. I got a lot of reading done. Um, and thankfully it was like over the summer, so it was like s spring and summer, so it wasn't, um, it didn't get dark really early, which is nice because it, it gets dark really early in winter in England. Super dark really early. What is even going on with this place? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I I definitely got used to like I've always just used public transport, so it's never been a particular hardship for me. But you know that a one hour bus ride is is quite different to to a two and a half hour. It's like no, I'm good. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Actually, the worst thing was if you missed the train, like the, the travel out there wasn't so bad, but I worked on a construction site. Um, and if you, you missed the last train home, it was just like such a pain in the ass. Um, like, well, if you missed a train home, you're fucked. Like, there's literally no way to get home. You'd just have to wait until the next day. And hope that one of the lads could put you up. Um, because it was so far out of, out of London. What? Oh my god, this fucking place. Yeah, it didn't happen very often, and I was always really fucking mad when it, it did. Very verbal. As you can imagine. A lot more graphic with my language because I worked with a bunch of tradesmen. So... <laughs> oh. I, 
I don't even know how to process this place is this is just too much like We have to find what the command is to reset the lighting in that block. Yeah, if I had more blocks or dirt, I'd like leave a Gretel chain, a Hanson Gretel type trail. Yeah, I'm I'm open to your suggestions. Actually, my suggest my I'm just like maybe I should just leave. <laughs> it is <laughs> just get out of this place. Like block off the areas that I've done. It's just that there's so many paths. Yeah, that's I mean that's how I would have done it in Minecraft. Um, torches here go out if they're left for too long. Which is fine, actually, because they're still, um, up on the wall. More titanium. Yeah, it's a really interesting cave. I've I've never seen titanium before. Oh, what's the command again to reset the lighting? Debug C R while standing at the effect. Oh god. This is this is fine. Okay, that didn't work. Or what it was last time. Alright, let's try this. Whew, there we go. Hey! <laughs> yeah, sometimes old sections of the, the map get a bit janky. But... Just make them remap the lighting and that fixes it. Fuck. Lost now.
I have no idea how I got in here. Why do I start off so with, with such strong intentions of like I'll just stick to the right hand wall? And now I'm just like, fuck. Oh, oh, hey, I did it. Whew. Oh, God. Um, all right, so we're going to keep going this way. Chickens. Feels like the temperature is finally starting to drop. So apparently it's easy in my room. I'm really interested to try this new insect repellent and see if it works. <laughs> it's it's not deep. Um and it's not terrible. And I'm I'm very hopeful because I, I used a little bit on my hand and it doesn't stink at all. And I'm a big fan fan of things not being smelly. Yeah, it's it's called um, the active ingredient is called picaridin. And apparently it's been around since the 80s. It's just that it's not, uh, not very, I mean, it's, this is the off brand. So it's, it's, you know, it's manufactured and stuff, but it just doesn't seem to be one that people really talk about. Um, but apparently it doesn't leave any residue. Uh, it doesn't stink. And it's more effective from, against mosquitoes and fleas than DEET is. Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful. Because I've got a couple of insect repellent sprays, but they all just smell good. Yeah, yeah, my my mozzie bites tend to inflame pretty badly and I will scratch to a point of um well well where I have scratched myself more without even realizing and then they get infected. <laughs> I'll like tear myself up overnight, so I have to put band-aids on. Good morning, Rookie. 
Once like stop scratching, it's like, dude, I don't even know that I'm fucking scratching. I like I always reacted bad to mosquito bites uh back home, but here they like they're like golf balls. The bites that I get will like swell up like golf balls. Like I had one on my cheekbone last week and my eye was sore for like fucking days. Assholes. Oh no. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is a cute little hut. Why is it dark so early? It's summer. It's seven o'clock. Oh my god, it's a washboard. How cute is that? Ooh, copper roofing. Okay. I don't really care about the palisades though. That's 51 copper roofing. I don't know how many plates I'll get out of that, but... One per? Fuck! Nice! Alright. <gasps> Top hat! Oh my god, yes. Amazing. Whinging. Now I've got, like, almost got clockwork orange vibes going on. There's going to be more stashed up here somewhere. I kind of love these little buildings, these little houses. It's, they're so cute. Especially because like this, normally they're like, partially buried, so it's kind of cute seeing them. Um. No, sort of accessible. I like the way they look, actually. o'clock in the morning oh 4 30 oh that's better maybe yeah 
Yeah, I think the model for this house is really cute. I thought the hyena puppies were cute at first, and now they just remind me of uh poodles. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't like them anymore. Is that... Is that what I think it is? I think we just found the Acropolis. Or well, the Parthenon. They say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is. Oh, in another translocator. <sighs> Why are there so many translocators? Now, where was the other here? The copper, those, all those copper plates are going to come very in handy. Oh, the ruins in clay. How curious. Oh, uh, you see, looks like they've got a bit of an infestation here, a bit of a termite infestation. I'm like well aware that there is a massive ruin <clears throat> over there. Oh my god, it's fucking enormous. I don't think I've got anything useful that I could put away here. Imagine eating enough termites that you're no longer like that you're full. Like, not that you say you're full, but that you're actually full. Am I about to move south? This is the question. It's 
so I can live in an ancient Grecian palace. No, it's going to have creepy crawlies. Just a heads up for anyone watching. There probably will be creepy crawlies. But they can't attack us. Oh, this is a different model than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I hate them already. Oh. Fuck. Fucking bells, man. I've muted the game. <laughs> uh, I hate it. Fuck you, Belle. Ugh. Awful. Fucking awful. Ugh. Oh, God. My heart is racing from that sound. I knew there was going to be something up here. You know, I just... I just wasn't prepared. For... That... Is, I don't know if anyone is. Blech. Oh, God, I hate it. Ugh. I hate them so much. It just oh that wailing Ugh. 
know if there's anything else up here. really need those things. To be honest, I don't need that either. Hi, Nania. Oh. All right, has the bell stopped wailing? Okay, there we go. Just got home from work. Um, doing all right. Though, um, had a bit of a a bell thing. Um, but but I be I believe it's resolved now. As long as I don't go back up there. Oh, hate it so much. You've arrived just in time out for the ads to start. Which honestly is not a bad time. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's gonna be the signature thing. Signature vlog. The bells. Yeah. Oh, I've not been in here. Oh, jeez. I'm I'm ignoring the fact that there's a bunch of. You know. Dudes. Just uh, wandering around over there. It makes me, they make me so nervous. Oh, there's a little room up there. Oh, it's a door. Not in this particular mode.
Um, oh, there's a letter right there. But doesn't mean I'm not like. No. Yeah. Large glass tank. Pro mask. She would. All these bees in here. Enjoy it. I still get the because I I well I don't know uh, for sure, but it seems like in this particular mode these guys like they won't even go for you if you hit them. Um, but other critters in passive mode. Well, there's, I mean, there's, there's, pa there's like, no, aggressive, passive, and something else. So the passive is where if you punch something, it'll punch you back, which is fair. And then there's like another, uh, a more peaceful one where things will never attack back. There's something else over there too. Um, but having it like completely passive just feels a bit, I don't know. I feel like there ought to be some consequences for your actions. After I've just skulked about through a ruin and cherry picked the bits I want. But there's going to be a little bit of risk for the reward. Oh, excuse me. You know, like not too much. A little bit of risk. It's empty. Yeah, I, I, I'm okay sometimes, but then there's other days where jump scares will just make me want to burst into tears. Um, and that's that's not great for stream, <laughs> or me, really. I'm not I'm not good. Jump jump scares just make me mad. I don't enjoy the uh, the little fizz of adrenaline that some people do. Like, I'll just get angry and cry. All right, so these trees are apparently good for resin. Oh, well, I mean, Meteor, I don't have an iron pick, so I can't do anything with that. Mm 
This is like the ruin that I hit in my place last time. I know. All the stuff. And I'm just like, I'm leaving so much behind. I do. Uh, yeah. I do. I know there's there's I know there's loot up there. Angry Jutes. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Leave that for someone else. I have a ladder. Oh god. Let me out. That's, that's probably what I ought to do there. Okay. Oh, hey. Or use the letters they present me. Weird. What do we got here? A quiver. First Ellen. Uh, eh. A lot of brown coal around here.
you. What's that? Alright, there we go. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on there. It's a pretty fun game. Oh, there's so much stuff. I just... Uh... <clears throat> I'm so quirky. Oh, I was supposed to update mods, right? I... Oh. Member. Ugh, oh, fine. Check the trader. Maybe the trader will have something for me. Hey. Excuse you, I'm trying to talk to you. I can sell a really granite stone, but I threw it all out. Oh, oh, hold up. Blue clay. Hmm. Uh oh. Blue tiles. I don't know if I want blue tiles or like I like I want Dude Stain still This guy I mean, may as well. This man's shovel, black bronze, coal. He buys coal. Oh, you know what? You don't. You don't. You don't deserve it. You keep moving. Wait, what did I see? Where pottery?
Alright, we go in east. And by east, I mean west. Which is basically the same. <laughs> That's amazing. In case you couldn't tell which is which. Love it. There's something that I I do enjoy about the uh, the honesty of uh, kiddos around that age. Oh boy. I'm like, how badly do I want to try and teleport home? Like, that badly? Do it, Drax. I mean, my bags are full. Next one. Apple tree. Right? always inciting me into violent games. Not that I really need encouragement. Oh, I just remembered something. Yes, though I am like super tired. I'm dragging big time just from the heat. I do remember I started making coffee, but didn't actually get it. Put the coffee on. Put all the stuff in my cup for it. Welcome back, Prickly. Um. It did not I actually go and make myself the coffee. I have not assembled the coffee in the vessel. Partly because it means in the in the vessel it is. But the problem is it means I have to go out into the kitchen, which is like 90 something degrees. I am going to moan like Fucking mad this summer, by the way. FYI. I will be grumbling a lot about the heat. Um it it really is. I feel I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm feeling the heat more. Oh look at this gradient. This is pretty. We don't need to have an excuse to to not enjoy something.
but it's like it's just like sapping my energy I was, I was almost almost mini dozing before like you know that time that I did that 24 hour stream Yeah. We've seen it seems like it just like that that time of year just came up on us really fast. Like it went from being like kinda comfy to what the fuck <laughs> really quickly. And uh I I'm not I'm not thrilled about that. Oh. Yeah. So at least at 6 30, it's like a little cooler, maybe. Not that that really helps when you're tired and then you have to get up early because of spawn. I think I think we're going to have to have a a family discussion about how to handle the heat this summer though. Um, we may just have to switch the sleep schedules around because like cooking when it's that hot in the kitchen, it's it's fucking awful. So I almost wonder if we just need time for a raw veggie diet. Maybe. There to be raw veggie diet that's not like prepared or anything. I mean, you can like prep stuff overnight. But the thing is, like once summer kicks in, it doesn't really cool down in the kitchen, even really in the evenings. Like it ends up normally ends up being cooler outside. than or than in. I feel like this is not the right decision to be making. Um. But yeah, I think we may we may have to like figure out a plan of attack. No, not really. There's I don't see it, it's just too hot. And it, I think I just need to try and find some more instant pot recipes or like slow cooker recipes for like summer type casseroles. Oh yeah, no, that's just like going out to check the mail and being like, oh, look, this is nice. <laughs> um. I mean, I can quite happily live on peanut you know, butter toast and cream cheese bagels. But apparently, like, that's not good for you or something. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, I think we're just going to have to uh, find things that we can. We've got the air fryer um, and the instant pot and the slow cooker. And those are really good for cooking things that we are. It's not heating the kitchen up anymore. Yeah, it's not it's not great.
my my brain is just like I would just leave everyone to their own device. <laughs> this will be like, all right, that's it. I'll cook again in October. Have fun, y'all. <laughs> but apparently, the problem is buying pre-cooked sal pre-made salads is incredibly expensive. Um, and we have limited storage space as well in the fridge and the freezer. It's something that we just wrangle with every year. Oh yeah, I mean buying buying anything pre-cooked is not really an option. It's usually like three times. We we try to spend no more than three dollars a pound uh, on meat. It's a long way down. So, so yeah, we'll probably be just be doing lots of burrito bowls. I I mean I could, but the problem is my days off. I'm I'm already like doing well everything. You know, like the the bathroom, cleaning the bathrooms and dishes and laundry and all that sort of shit oh i have like completely overshot it oh that's pretty um and again we're we're very limited storage space uh for refrigeration and freezer um super limited the the instant pot and the slow cooker are, are fantastic. Um, it's just I think we just need to find some more recipes, like one pot meal type things. And things that can be used in multiple ways. So you know, like, uh making fixings for for nachos or whatever yeah and of course we've got some people that are kind of like flint's quite particular about well not, flint is not particular i'm the picky one. Oh my god prickly that looks amazing um I'm definitely the picky one, but like Flint doesn't really like tomatoes um, or like cabbage or anything like that. So like coleslaw. So a lot of like the summer salads that I would enjoy. Yeah. I only have a few recipes that I use the instant pot for. My favorite one is my... Um, the one that I use to make burrito bowls. And it's one that we all enjoy. And that's one that I can use the rice cooker for the rice and the instant pot for everything else. And that way I don't have to, you know, it's literally just toss everything in, in two different small kitchen appliances and off you go. You've got enough for two meals. I would love if we had a larger freezer.
found a bunch of fruit trees. Wait, where am I going? Uh, the... I think we need to find more like more sort of one pot meals that use bright like brown rice and beans things like that that are like filling and like low GI we don't need to keep going back for more it goes this way Yeah, I, I love tomato stuff, like raw tomatoes, tomato sauces. I love the sweetness and the acidity of tomatoes, but the Flint and his mom are not really big on tomatoey things. So I could gladly eat pasta with tomato sauce every day. I don't I don't even need anything else on there, just pasta and sauce. Um, but both of them get really bad heartburn from Tomatoes. I was like, but it's so easy and cheap. Sound effects on this game. They look really good, Prickly. Like, that is a yummy pizza. I suppose pizza is one of those things that's pretty easy to make if you've got all the, the toppings prepped, doesn't take a lot of space. Have I been in here before? Yeah, I have. I used to make pizza from scratch. Um, I used the my bread machine to do all the kneading of the dough. It always came out really yummy. Um, but handling the dough is quite a lot now. Oh no! I see how it is. But we like using, um, like, dice, like a dice kielbasa. The standard, like, one ounce, one, uh, one pound one will last, like, three pizzas. <gasps> Yay! Back from festival! Sounds fun. I've been on all day. Oh god, you hear me grumbling then. Extra good food. I really need to go get my coffee. Well, I did a big hick and explore around there.
I don't even know what the point of all that was. Really. This is true. Of course. I'm glad to hear that. Yay. Uh... And now you're both playing Vintage Store. I didn't realize that she'd uh, got on there already, but I'm glad. You saw a dog with eyebrows? Okay. Interesting. Were they a very expressive pup as well? <laughs> Oh gosh, that's amazing. I'm going to completely forget that I have all these. We should be able to put clothes on the shelves. Votive offerings. I really like those those pretty doors, but 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 ooh, that's pretty.
but look at what I was doing. Yeah, they're pretty. They the doors are gorgeous, um, but they don't give the uh, the enclosed room thing. This is disappointing. We have cows now. It's a very miserable cow pen, but we have them. Oh, we've got a few like in the cave entrance. It is map, yeah. This garden area is going bye bye. But the plan is to make all the cave entrance kind of treed. Intreed. And then I want to get vines and shit like drop down from up there. Kind of like the idea of, you know, like being able to like sort of walk through the trees and you know, see see light shining in the end tree. Me too. My tiny little house at the back. It is really pretty here. I need to finish, like, I'm supposed to be, it, not supposed to be, but not supposed to do anything. But the plan was to build like a a smithy area here, like an outside workshop here. But yeah, I'm very happy with how this has come out so far. Oh god, I'm really struggling. Like, I feel fine, I'm just... The heat is just making me so tired. But I don't want to nap. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, Dean raided in last night, Sadie, and was very cute, like asking about like what foods I can eat. It's like I'm, I'm really excited. I found my suitcases. Yeah. Was, has Emily been able to? Has Emily heard back yet? I just noticed this table with a copper on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Along with me moaning about the heat, you're going to get tired of me going on and on about trip as well. Hi, Poet. 
Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Nice. All right, I know I have an ad break coming up, but I'm going to go get my coffee. I will be right back. Hmm. Interesting. I'm land over here. Put, put. <laughs> I was like, put, 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 put. I made it full screen. Isn't it adorable? All right, what am I doing? I don't know what 
I'm doing. Maybe the foggy is what I'm doing. It's funny, from here it doesn't really seem like the cabin is that big but when you get over by where the trees are and look back in the like perspective is so different Mmm, a hot drink on a hot day. Delicious. Alright. So what are we doing? I have all those copper plates now. Or potential with the lids. Get them in plate form and see what it is that I can make that will. Here. Probably gonna destroy my soul. So ingredient four, we put these here, that here. Well, now there's a bunch more stuff I can do. Like the ovens. Dean. Oh, that's her making booze. Copper plate armor. That seems like a terrible deal. Why did I think? That I needed copper plates as much. That's what I was curious about. Okay, so that doesn't use plates. It uses polished block. The heat distribution.
curious if you can have that tucked away. Sorry, I'm I'm braining what I want to do here. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love it. Copper plate and a copper plate and a copper plate and a copper plate and a copper plate and up. <laughs> Hi, Asa. Thank you. Thirty-one month streak. Oh. Almost four years. Crazy. Crazy. All the years. Color? Didn't we just pick a color? Just picked a color on the 31st. Now I'm confused. I can't do that. Yeah, that was on the 31st of May. I wonder if that was an anniversary rather than reset. They usually have a week. Yeah. I has taken note. Oh. My sleepies. All right, let's fill in this area with cobblestone floor. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I said I wrote, wrote both down. Yeah, I've got both down, so I'll just uh, fill in the gaps. Oh, really? It's always so intriguing when people are like, I've heard of this game. I'm like, really? How intriguing. Ah, uh, well, well, thanks. I 
I, I do know a few that are pretty cool. I, if I do say so myself, which I just did. It's such a weird, like, the way that I just got, I sort of fall in on it. I'm gonna have to make a bunch more tools and I'm just like, eh. Why can't I have a mold for a saw? Oh, I think this one needs to come out too. Uh, uh. So I think what I'm going to do there... Is that's going to be a garden. Oh, I keep on forgetting to look up a thing. Alright. A thing.
I have the munchies again. What the fuck? work trying to pick that up. Realize it was a square. Why is popcorn so awful? I need delicious at the same time. internals ma'am like, it's so good and then it gets stuck between your teeth and stabs you and you're like fuck you popcorn Yeah, and then you like bite down on like a whole kernel. I mean, I'm not going to stop. Slowly? What? What is this slowly you speak of? The book that I'm struggling with right now, my brain is like, this is going to be delicious. Part of my brain, and the other part of my brain is like, that will fuck your teeth up. All the little bitties at the bottom of this container. That's like a bad night. Yeah, but you can like, you can use fizzy to like make all the big bits float to the top. And just ignore the danger bits. Mm. 
some flavor pebbles. I mean, that makes sense. What am I looking for? I mean, the popcorn at this stage is kind of a bit past it anyway. It's not in the best of conditions. Oh no, I hate that. Yeah, I've got one on the back of my ankle. I'm doing my darndest to ignore it. It's it hope like that it's rubbish. It has absolutely absolute absolutely rubbish. I can word. Shut up. Hmm. How do I want to manage this? Right? What if? Oh, shit. Wait, how do I get that back? Oh.
Was that a base game thing? Surely not. I need to make a new saw, but I don't want to. Ugh. My thought is basically to have like the wooden path come along here. This will be plant as well. Plant a tree in the middle of it. What do we? I don't know what I want to plant there. Maybe a walnut. What I have. But oak and a pine. Oh, wait. I mean, I have a cherry tree, but I don't think. I don't think it'll get cold enough here for the cherry tree to actually fertilize. Damn it! I thought about the bite on my ankle, and now I can't help. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can easily enough get <clears throat> on top of this big mountain that the cave is in, and there's it goes all the way up to the clouds. So there's there's plenty in there. It's just I don't know what the temperature range is up there. I probably need to wait until middle of winter to find out like the safest place because it's quite it, it gets really cold up there but no I was just trying to think of like how cute it would be to have a cherry tree like right there But I think I'm just going to plant another arc. Right. Right there. I don't really need three forges. I probably didn't need to make it many. Is
So we've got got three three forges. Oh, I didn't know that that was going to stick. Stick helps immensely, actually. I'm kind of intrigued by these little ladders up to the uh, forges. Honk. So what if...
All right. I think I got it. Uh, play. Pod, pod, pod. This is Emilio, a.k.a. Echo in Mexico, with a friendly reminder. Please take some time for yourself. Do a stretch. Hey. Take your vitamins or medication. Have a siesta fiesta. Take a walk. Fiesta and don't fiesta. Forget, be kind to yourself. Do be kind to yourself. All right. Who stole my bucket? No. Oh, hi, Jay. Job. Well, that sounds good. Bucket. Sadly, no, but that's all right. I may reshape that.
Is it? I don't know if that's where I want those. that's like instantly better Not sure. Okay. It's a bit too stony right now, but like over the year, I need to have stone before I start adding flammable stuff. Because, you know, I don't want everything to burn down. Let's see if I've got any half block. Inventory is such a mess. I fancy. I just realized I had a cape walk and a bird seat in here. Oh, it's in here too. But no halves. That's what I want to do on it. That just brightens it up a bit.
Mm -hmm. There. I think that's better. Hmm. We'll play. Stream so dozy you cozed off. Cozy, dozy you cozed off. I can word. I don't know what I'm doing over there. It's kind of weird, like, not having to, to fuss about having everything enclosed. Then... 
It'll be the bonus room. Or it would be if I hit another pickaxe. All right. Gotta try and make paper at some point too. Uh, I think I need a box for charcoal. Yeah, oh, all right. Oh, actually, probably just put that there. I really, I no idea what the fuck I'm doing.
Right, I think we're making progress. Use you, Mystic Rep. Probably bring those over here. It's Peter. Bong 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 bong. I feel like a little shelf in there would be good for the molds, actually. I haven't decided if I want to use these or not. Probably just need a store store chest for this, right? Okay, so that's attached to that. So that's a smithing stuff kind of moved. It's so dark though.
trying to decide if we want to use more of this wood fencing to kind of brighten it up a bit. really need to make that's one that doesn't get used very often. Alright, so that's only going to use 80. Wait, why am I doing that? Why am I using just copper? Is that the, that's the least amount? <sighs> okay, let's do that. And then we can do an ingot in the mold.
am as well, sad too. The best way of figuring out if something works was to use it. Already kind of thinking I might want to take these out and then flip them and put them upside down under these. to pick down what is tomorrow i don't even know what day of the week it is I mean, that, that seemed okay. I can't remember what box that was. I will be right back.
<laughs> My spidey sense was accurate. Oh, that's a neat map. They are very cute. Also, I was like, who the fuck is GLaDOS? And then I looked at the history and I was like, ah. You already started sprouting. See, now the problem with that is that I can't reach now. I think that makes more sense.
Oh, it's all right. I'm just chatting with a friend. Uh... Okay. Stuff, stuff going on. Um, but I think it, it's okay, but I think I'm just gonna rave up. I'm a bit rattled. No, no, yeah, I, I think I think I do. So I don't, I don't know what the plan is tomorrow. Um, haven't the foggiest. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna. No, it's all right, babe. Um, everything's fine. It's just stuff that needs to be dealt with. Um, I'm gonna raid uh, my friend Littles. Um, she's playing uh, Hellblade Two uh, for the first time. So if you're worried about spoilers. Uh, I wouldn't uh, join us, but otherwise, please do. She's really lovely, and uh, it's really good reactions to weird shit that happens. Um, so, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry to wrap up. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. I see. I don't know what we do. I don't know if if we're doing trucks or something else. I have no idea. Let's figure it out tomorrow. Um, here's the raid messages if you want to copy and paste one of those um, like I'm trying to do except my mouse won't work there um, so yeah <laughs> I'll, see you, I'll see you guys tomorrow